I've got the Xiaomi Poco M3 right here, codename Citrus. And I'm going to show you how to gain root access to this device thanks to Majisk Manager patching the boot INI, their boot image file of the firmware you're currently running. Before we can actually root this device, we need to have the bootloader unlocked. I've already done a tutorial that shows you how to unlock the bootloader of the Poco M3. So if you do not have an unlocked bootloader yet, go check out that tutorial and then come back and finish this one. Now, once you have unlocked the bootloader, we need to check, we need to download the firmware we're currently running on this device. So what you're going to need to do is first go to this Xiaomi firmware updater website. I'm going to be linking to the direct device page for this in the video description. So that all you'll have to do is go to that link and match up the firmware that you're currently running. So if we can see here, I'm using the global version of the M3 and I just need to confirm that this firmware 12.0.4.0 QJFMIXM is the same that we're have that we're currently running on our device. So I just have to go to the about page, check on the version of MIUI that we're currently running, make sure that it matches what we can download on this website. It doesn't matter if you're grabbing the recovery or the fast boot version. In this instance, I just downloaded the smaller recovery version. Specifically, it just needs to match the firmware. Because we need to download this firmware and extract the contents of that. Because in that firmware is the boot image file. And as I just said, we need that boot image file in order to patch it with Majisk Manager. Now I've already downloaded this firm firmware on the desktop. I've already extracted it on the desktop and I've copied that boot image file to this phone already. Now in order to patch that boot image file, we need to download and install the Majisk Manager APK. And we can grab the official version by doing a Google search for Majisk and GitHub. And you should see the first result be for Top John's GitHub page. We just need to scroll down until we get to the download section, tap on the button for Majisk Manager. And then download it open it up and install it. From here, we're actually going to patch that boot image file by using the install button up here at the top in the Majisk widget. Tap on install, allow storage access. We're going to choose the select and patch a file option. And then from here, we're going to be able to browse to where we downloaded that. So we just go to the download section. That's where I stored that file. And there's the boot image file right there. So just select that boot image file. And then tap the let's go option. You can actually follow along with the log right here to see what Majisk Manager is doing to that boot image file. 
we're going to be looking for where this output file is written to, which should be right next to that boot image file. And it's going to be named magisk underscore patched underscore and then some random letters. After you have copied that patched magisk file back onto the PC, we then need to boot the Poco M3 into fast boot mode. Again, I've shown separate tutorials. I've done separate tutorials to show how to do this. But we're just powering off the phone and then using the button combination of the power and the volume down button during the boot to boot into fast boot mode. Once we are in fast boot mode, we can connect our phone back to the PC with the USB cable. So right now you're going to need to have your Poco M3 connected to the PC with a USB cable. It needs to be in fast boot mode. So this was the firmware that we downloaded, which was extracted into this folder. This was the original boot image file that I copied to the Poco M3. So now I have launched my minimal ADB and fastboot desktop shortcut from the tutorial that I've done. But remember, we need to copy that Magisk patched file into the same folder as our ADB and fastboot tools. So here we have my ADB and fastboot tools folder. Not only have I copied, or not only have I pasted that file to this folder, I have renamed it to simply magisk underscore patch dot img. Now I know a lot of people do not have extensions displayed, file extensions displayed, so if you need to, right click the file and click properties and make sure this is the file name. Make sure that it is not dot img dot img this file name can actually be anything we're just making it something simple that we can easily type in the command prompt so once that file has been renamed once that file is in the same folder as our adb and fastboot tools we're going to go to either our command prompt windows powershell or a terminal it doesn't matter which type of window you use, it just needs to be opened in the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. When you're ready, remember the phone is in Fastboot mode and plugged in, we type out the command Fastboot space flash space boot space magisk underscore patched dot img. So what we're doing is we're telling that fastboot file to flash, aka copy and install, the patched image file into the boot partition. That's going to overwrite our default and stock boot image with the one that we have patched with Magisk. So when you're ready, all you have to do is press enter on the keyboard it will send that boot file or that, um, that image file to the phone and tell you the file size. We're going to look for an OK response. We want an OK response. And then it's going to write that image to the boot partition like we told it to right here. And again, you should get an, an OK message. And that's it. From here we can either type out fastboot space reboot or we can press the power button on the Poco M3 for about 7 to 10 seconds to force the device to reboot. Both methods are okay here. So just to show you that it's safe, we're just going to press and hold the power button 
Now I've already unplugged the USB cable from the device as you can see. I did that after I executed that fastboot command and got those that two OK message. So no matter if I use the power button or I use that fastboot command, it's just going to force the device to reboot and that's going to boot us back into the Android operating system like normal. From here, we can go ahead and look for that Majisk Manager application we installed before. And if you remember at the top, when we first opened it, we were told what the latest version of Majisk was and what the installed version of Majisk was. And before, the installed version was marked as no. Now, we're being told that this is the version of Majisk we have installed. And we can even take this a step further by going into the Play Store. Download a simple root checker app. and then verify root access. So there you have it. That is how to root the Xiaomi Poco M3 with Majisk by patching the boot.image file. And I'll be doing a future tutorial to show you how to do things like install TWRP install Majisk with TWRP instead of having to manually patch that image file and more.